why gm crops why do you need gm crops high yield then resistance to drought pest diseases nutritional intake to ensure nutritional security all right so can i say for food fortification food fortification bio fortification see bio fortification and food fortification are having similar objective but the process can be different this is from where the whole story started this is from where the whole story started which is to increase the shelf life point increased shelf life was the first concern why increase shelf life especially you started creating better quality tomato the problem with tomato is the consumption of tomato is very very high but the transport of this particular vegetable or fruit there is a debate um, tomato is a vegetable tomato is a fruit but the transportation actually one causes a lot of damage to the crop second it is extremely perishable and it does not have any use further it cannot be used for example potato beetroot can still be used for making sugar can be used for making wine beer etc this particular crop literally has no use otherwise so uh, the first gm crop or first john genetically modified crop was tomato which was for increasing the shelf life therefore whenever if you happen to go with your mother or you happen to notice there are two types of tomatoes ek hota hai desi tomato ek hota hai the hybrid the hybrid one has a very shiny thick coating like outer skin whereas the desi tomato is not very good looking and has a very thin uh, outer skin did you notice this right so those hybrids are nothing but the better quality are they all gm not necessarily but they are definitely hybrid in variety but don't you think that it is actually reducing the overall biodiversity and increasing monoculture yes so that brings me to my another question from you what are the concerns what are the concerns which is which is the only gm crop that has been allowed in india cotton gm mustard gm brinjal gm potato gm tomato these are do you have any of these gm crops allowed legally in india allowed legally in india no why do you think they are not allowed very quickly tell me the concerns gm rice also called as golden rice what was the speciality of this rice vitamin a vitamin a all right chaliye so you have allowed cotton you have allowed cotton but you are not allowing these seeds why so why so first you do not know the long term side effect intake nahi hai cotton ka so the long term side effects are unknown then is monoculture is monoculture a healthy practice no can it actually in long term in long term lead to loss of biodiversity yes apart from that apart from that will i rather reduce the variety and will it not create a monopoly theek hai starting mein sab acha lagta hai reliance jio do you remember almost free reliance jio was free sim ke bhi paise nahi le rahe the wo log unne tumko aadat dali unlimited calling ki they first made you addicted to unlimited calling earlier you were okay with your 250 ka recharge i don't know from which generation you come you which generation you come but earlier we used to be happy with our 200 250 recharge it used to suffice us people were having healthier lifestyle social balance uh, the free calling the free calling has created more chaos because now since you don't have to pay anything you go on having conversation with conversation you start having issues now second they made you addicted to internet for example you don't need to watch all the reels that are present on instagram right you can let it go you do not need to watch all that unlimited scrolling by facebook theek hai wo aapka brahmand khatam ho jayega unke videos khatam nahi honge they first made you addicted to all of this and now they are charging jio ke jo packages hain monthly ab bsnl mein port kara rahe hain log right do you see the change here do you see the change here earlier earlier we could see that it is a cheaper way but don't you think if you Uh, allow gm crops to dominate the agriculture it is going to create a similar monopoly 
did you notice that uh, from five to six years back, he used to have a very strong Vodafone network. He used to have Aircel. He used to have Tata Docomo. Now you are left with same with Ola and Uber. Ola and Uber. Uber used to give six hundred rupees as introductory offer. Six hundred rupees free. Ke six hundred rupees Indians got and they got crazy, right? But then what has it happened? It has now created an, a monopoly and even. I can tell you, I come to Noida from Delhi, and it is at least five hundred rupees per trip. Is it really that costly? Is it supposed to be that costly? No, it is not supposed to be that costly. But now they have made you used to using cabs. So now this monoculture and this monopoly over the market can actually do more harm to the farmer. Why? Because majority of your farmer is subsistence farmer, survives on subsistence. the way you cannot afford zero recharges do you think somebody who has very low uh, annual income or a low income will be able to afford something as gm crops second gm crops are already very expensive these are very expensive these are water guzzling in nature these are water guzzling in nature they need higher fertilizers they need higher fertilizers then monoculture monoculture leads to monoculture leads to depleting nutrients nutrients can i say that the overall biodiversity of the soil will be low more than that will the farmer be able to bear the cost farmer cost will be very high then don't you think that the rich farmers will benefit and the poor farmer will be in that debt circle and it will also lead to the farmer distress it will also need to the farmer distress so this has a lot of benefits but having but having these kind of agricultural practices will lead to more problems to the poorer strata of the farming community which is also a problem with hiv seed with hiv seed i kind of discuss this also discuss this also that these seeds are ser- sterile in nature and what do i mean that these seeds are sterile in nature that they cannot be reused so the company so the company which is actually producing the gm cotton seeds will have a profit every year monsanto yes it is a us based company called monsanto makes these profits is the major player and don't you think when you have one major player jio one major player uber one major player amazon then you kill the smaller players such as vodafone docomo such as snap deal such as i don't know there were so many uh, there was a time that there were so many startups for online shopping now all that is left is yeah jabong jabong has been taken up by mintra now they are they are just two or three left which are there all right so whenever uh, there is a monopoly it is not good for the consumer itna economy se humko samajh aa gaya conglomerates you can call them guilds you can call them cartels yes i was looking for the word cartels shall you please write this uh, you have already discussed it right now you simply see if you have not written any of them please make sure you have written all of them i have taken it i have taken it from the department of biotechnology please write about these three crops which were in news the biggest chaos is by the bt brinjal bt brinjal is uh, illegally being cultivated in india so bt cotton is the only genetically modified crop that is commercially allowed in india i have taken this paper cutting this paper cutting so this was the first and the only crop which is allowed the bt cotton grown in india is genetically modified for developing resistance to a particular pest called as pink bulbworm now what has happened is what are you doing you are inserting you are inserting through two genes by the name cry1 ab and cry2 bc from soil bacteria soil bacteria now having done having done the rdna technique having done the rdna technique can you actually imagine how easily the soil bacterium genes from soil bacterium can be inserted into the crop any problem in this next is htbt cotton htbt cotton is the variety which is for the herbicide resistance herbicide resistance bt cotton here you are inserting cp4 eps ps gene from soil 
from soil bacteria and the name of the bacteria is agrobacterium tumfaciens agrobacterium tumfaciens now what does it do it produces a protein called as glyphosate which makes it herbicide resistance it is not allowed in india it is not allowed in india then when why am i giving it to you because htbt cotton was demanded by the farmers very aggressively was demanded by the farmers very aggressively and the corporate also was very adamant and behind india for approving which is the which is the agency which approves which is the agency which approves gm crops geac what does it stand for genetically engineered accreditation committee genetic engineering accreditation committee it allows whether ha yeah, it is grown illegally it is grown illegally but it is not allowed ideally to be appraisal committee so what is the role of this appraisal committee it basically allows the genetically modified crops organisms anything in the country before entering has to go through this particular organization i have given the notes on that also the third gm crop which was in news was bt brinjal now bt brinjal was in news see i have not included gm mustard gm this gm that because it is now not in news it was news in uh, in news then every year or uh, every 2 3 years you will have the new types of crops you don't have to revise all of them every day all right so bt brinjal is the genetically engineered crop and it it again uses if the term is bt it uses bacillus thuringiensis for what for insecticidal property genes do you have to remember it is in news because cry1 ac has been asked therefore i have mentioned cry1 ac has been asked once so the regulation regulation is done by the genetic engineering appraisal committee uh, regulation of gmo the rice was in news why the rice was in news the rice was in news because uh, they were very adamant that india actually produces organic rice in fact europe uh, has uh, the highest organic rice intake or import from india but it was found to be was it the gm rice or was it hybrid variety gm tha ya hybrid see gm to sunte hi europeans are like not going to happen gm sunte hi they are like not going to happen and they are very high on organic food you have to understand the world is so crazy about organic food that they literally have anything organic can you please tell me which rice were they talking about were they talking about hybrid or were they talking about gm all right chali so uh, these two examples they are in court now why have we taken this particular these two crops because there are court cases there are court cases of different agencies and farmers against geac in fact the farmer unions i think after seeing after seeing what has happened with the three laws you can see that how powerful these agencies of farmers are all right they had to withdraw the three laws all right so since it is so much in new there is so much you know that is even if it is gm i want you to ask is it is it the gm rice uh, or the golden rice or some other variety theek hai chaliye write it exactly like this write it exactly like this from where have i taken it i have taken it from a newspaper cutting of probably hindu when uh, the case for htbt cotton and bt brinjal was given and they have very concisely written the overall regulation of gmos in india so please let me know when you are done writing important notes for your exam in fact uh, it is not just htbt cotton it is not just gm brinjal it is also the soya bean it is also the soya bean gm soya bean which is a concern the gmo rice the gmo rice was a big slap on india in fact there is a farmers lobby in kerala who has said that you have to understand that we rely a lot on the export and they have literally uh, you know uh, pointed out the states and the farmers which are illegally importing these three varieties along with the rice which is htbt cotton bt brinjal as well as the as well as the soya bean along with your rice